<laughs> All right, Colette. What? Trying this game out. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains, a group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, flowers. with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. <coughs> the truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Well, Maybe out. the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Maybe it will. Maybe we'll find the answer. Oh. Nice train. Well, it's kind of pretty. You got a map or anything? I'm already cold. This makes me cold. Oh look, footprints. Nice. Oh look, it even keeps track that I'm walking backwards, I think. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Parking lot? Sit on the bench? Can I sit on the bench? Oh, I can zoom in really close. Whoa. That's like eagle eye vision. Nice. Can I jump? Oh, can't jump. Okay. Strafe. Crouch. Ooh, ice falls. I mean, I guess I'm going the right way. Maybe. I'm <laughs> definitely not a lot of directions in the game. Let's be a little bit 
Füße da. Let's go that way. This way. Ah, we're gonna stay in the forest. <laughs> there we go. Gotta keep ourselves warm. Oh jeez. Um, am I dying? No. There's no inventory, no nothing. Okay. Well, this one looks nice. Let's go this way. Why are the trees all slanted? Trees don't really don't do that. Are you coming to me? Um, I guess so. Oh! There we go. I guess some footprints. Some burning footprints were in the snow. Oh. Looks like it's falling over on me, the mountain. Tree? What the heck? Well, just a cave, I guess. Everybody needs to go visit a good cave now and then. Oh. Okay. Watch your step. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. Can't the pain anything. ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. Um, I welcomed the end. I think I'm walking. Definitely walking, wow. Now this is a blizzard. Sounds nice. Makes me feel like I'm on a mountain. So, oh, wait, wait. We got something. Nice. Wait. Is this the tent that those people escaped from? Yeah, we can finally do something. Yeah, let's get in there. We gotta warm up. I am right behind you. What? Hey, at least we got a compass now. Clicking the notes saves the game's progress. Good to know. Oh wow, Act 2. Good job. That's Have work. you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? No, never. When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. When they told you that you were a monster who deserved punishment. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem Why is, are the red footprints? is in their darkness. You have never been alone. Compass, map, see compass, okay. Okay, so, okay, so we got a compass, let's see our map. Where are we going? Where are we at? Well, I think we can go up there. Oh, uh, we get to 
tired. That's why. What the heck went on in here? That's steam bath. That looks like it'd be really hot. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment, and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. That's good to know. Something unnatural. Well, why are the rocks flying? Um, we have floating rocks. What the? Okay, now I'm floating rocks. I died. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy looking at the rocks. Okay, let's um, get all the rocks. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Good to know. I died right in there. So, a meteor fell on my head. It's a whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? You little light person, you? I don't want to follow you. Oh man, I'm gonna run up. Yeah. You're definitely faster than me. Oh, don't leave me. Don't leave me, Mr. Light Person. What is up there? Oh, darn it. Alright. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but it's okay. Oh, it looks like a path. Kind of. There's something up there. You know what, let's go this way. I see something glowy. So let's go to the glowy. I'm going to the glowy. Wait, actually, let's check on that, see if it says anything. So, which one am I? I'm guessing I'm... Um, yeah. Should be that little handprint looking thingy. So, am I going to play? I don't know, maybe I'm going. All I know is I see a lot of glowy stuff. So, let's see what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's looking like I don't think I can get there. Nope. I cannot get there. Okay, fine. We'll still head to that other red light. Bridge. Cross the bridge or don't cross the bridge? That is the question. I want to go there. Oh, you're getting really windy. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be going that way. Oh, nice. Skulls. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, that's nothing. You need 
across that. Jump. That's really annoying. So I obviously have to go all the way back around, right? There's the bridge I was on. You know what? Let's see if I jump. Let's see if I should jump. Oh, okay. Feel free to read it, pause it. Um, okay, this doesn't go nowhere. Good to know. So now what? I mean, that looks like I'm gonna die if I. Oh well, let's try it. Oh, it looks like I'm driving ahead. Okay. Nice fungus. Everybody needs a little bit of fungus now and then. Oh, okay. So there's a big old hand up there. Okay. I have chosen you. Oh, thanks. You are remarkable. I know. Just like me. But you are losing your mind, my friend. You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. Sure there and is. at the bottom, I am the only one waiting for you. Oh wait, I actually have nothing going on my way down. See, so, yeah. So let's just swing to the left, right? And circle around. Alright, and then we're in, so... We're good, we're good. Wait, wait, we're gonna be able to get up here. But according to that, it looked like I could. But guess what? I can't. Oh my god. Let me stay in this little hole right here. Really? And it's broken. <laughs> I'm not stuck. I can't let it out. Wow. 